okay so this is part two video which is uh, the role of photosynthesis photosynthetic pigments uh, we were done with the chlorophyll a and b which are the type of chlorophyll so we were done with the chlorophyll as well as the structure of chlorophyll in this video we're discussing about the carotenoids okay so what is carotenoids carotenoids are the terpenoid unit and what is terpenoid unit which is you can say that it is composed of composed of isoparanoid unit means that they are made up of isoparanoid unit and in isoparanoid unit there are 5 carbon and 8 hydrogen okay so <clears throat> So they act as a, oh, you can say that the carotenoid are terpenoid lipid or you can say that they are ter they are composed of isoparanoid unit, okay, uh, means this is also a pigment like chlorophyll, okay. So uh, this is, uh, carotenoids are yellow in color, orange in color, red and brown pigments, okay so they absorb the light strongly okay in the blue violet range if you're talking about the <clears throat> carotenoids so the carotenoids are basically in the leaves and they are you can see that they are seen before the falling of the leaf okay so they are having pigments that's why they are looking like a green and yellow in color so um <clears throat> Along, you can see that chlorophyll, <coughs> chlorophyll B, this is, you can see that this is, they are chlorophyll A. This is chlorophyll B. <coughs> so they are, um, the carotenoids are in the chlorophyll B and they transfer into the chlorophyll A. Like how? The, and chlorophyll B is, uh, you can say that they are the accessory center. How? For example, this this is chlorophyll A. Okay, here the chlorophyll B is there. <clears throat> this is a necessary center. Okay, and this is a accessory center. Okay, so through chlorophyll B, the pigments are passing into the chlorophyll A. Okay, so um they are red orange yellow pigments okay yeah if there is yellow pigment we are calling them as a xanthophyll okay and uh, carotenoids basically attract the birds insects for pollination okay okay and you can see that they protect the chlorophyll molecule also from the high intensity of light okay so they we can they are seen after they are not seen after the mm, leaf fallen okay there is a evergreen species okay which uh, you can see that in their plant um, leaf do not fall fall okay and there is a deciduous pigment okay that um, you can see the leaf got falls okay if the leaf got falls so there will be no pigment in there okay they will become like brownish like color <clears throat> without pigment if they are not falling so they will be maybe green in color yellow in color there are many pigments which is present in the leaves okay so we can see when they are not fall if they got fall they got dead so how will we watching them their pigments so carotenoid is what carotenoid is basically a pigment there are many pigments yellow orange uh, red blue and many others okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> there are two type of carotenoid one is the 
carotene and second is the xanthophyll so carotene carotene is having a red orange color and if you remember xanthophyll xanthophyll is having yellow color in their leaves if there is yellow color they are xanthophyll and means if they are there is yellow color we are calling them as a xanthophyll if there is red orange color so we are calling them as a carotene carotene <coughs> If you're talking about the abundant that is found in the carotene, that is beta carotene. Beta carotene. If you talk, and you can say that uh, xanthophyll are formed in the autumn season. Okay. And if you're talking about their abundant uh, category, that is lutein. Lutein is the most abundant form of the you can say the xanthophyll and beta carotene is the most abundant form that is found in the carotene okay so lutein you can say xanthophyll which is responsible for the yellow color okay uh, in the season of the uh, you can say this autumn okay so this was about the carotenoid okay if they is cytochromes that means they are having a green color so each color is having a name like if the or you can say that if there is yellow color we can call them as a xanthophyll if there is red orange color there is carotene if there is a you can say that green color we are calling them as a cytochromes so there are many colors in the leaves so we are <clears throat> we are having many kind of a leaves and you can see that they are having different pigments so the pigment that is called carotenoid as well as there is a pigment that is chlorophyll and chlorophyll having a more type but the mainly there are two types a and b so we are also done with that video too in the previous video this is the you can say that they were the photosynthetic pigment two type chlorophyll and carotenoid so in this video we are done with the carotenoid in the previous previous video we were done with the chlorophyll Okay.